Director of the Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center, Dr. Chaitanya Prakash Yogi, Mr. Ishwar Ramlachman, President and Founder of the Shivananda World Peace Foundation, Ms. Sylvia Naika, colleagues Ms. Cheryl Banwarilal, Ms. Kavita Solanki, Mr. Piyush Kandelwal. Distinguished guests, it gives me great pleasure in welcoming you all to today's program, Yoga for the Benefit of Students. Without further ado, I present to you Ms. Kavita Solanki, Teacher for Indian Culture at SVCC, for the opening prayer. Thank you, Shishdi. Shani, Shani, Uparami, Buddha, Dhriti, Grahitaya, Atma, Sansamana, Kretva, Nakin chida pichinta ye Om Shanti 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 Om. Thank you. Thank you, Kavita Ji. We now present to you Ms. Sylvia Naika. Sylvia Ji is 60 years old and has two kids with three grandchildren and has been teaching aerobics swimming, dance, yoga, and aqua aerobics at Virgin Active Gyms for the past six, uh, 15 years. We present to you Ms. Sylvia Naika for her demonstration on yoga for the benefit of students. Namaste everyone. Let's start by placing hands in prayer. Close the eyes, keep the body nice and tall, the spine nice and long. We're going to chant three ohms, exhaling, emptying the lungs. Take a nice deep breath in. Om. your palms together, place it over your eyelids and gently massage your face. You're going to come to standing with your feet hip distance apart. We're going to come up onto our toes. So inhale all the way up onto your toes. Feel the stretch from your abs going up all the way. Turn the palms out. Feel the lengthening of your arms all the way to the fingertips. And exhale. We're going to do one more of that. Inhale. All the way up. Onto your toes. Gently turn the arms out to the side. Feel the lengthening of your whole body from the toes all the way up, knees, thighs, from the belly all the way going up to the fingertips and release. Hands onto the hips, still with your feet hip distance apart, we're going to lean forward, so inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, folding from the hip. Coming into a flat back. Stay here for a couple of breaths. And then gently inhale and come up. This time we're going to place the hands onto the hips, back of the hips. Inhale, lengthen the spine, draw the shoulders back, elbows back. And exhale into your flat back. Gently come up with an inhalation. And now we're going to take it forward 
and take it right down to the toes. So inhale up, palms facing each other and exhale all the way down. And here, if you can't touch your the floor with your fingertips, you can place blocks or you can just place your hands onto your knees or your thighs. Inhaling all the way up. From here, we're going to take it back. So exhaling back. Inhale, come up. Exhale forward. Inhale up. Keeping the palm, the hand alongside the ears all the way back. And come to standing feet slightly away. So slightly away from the hip, wider than the hip. We're going to take the arms out to the side. Inhaling, we're going to look at the right arm. And we're going to keep looking at the right arm, taking the right arm to the left toe. Once you reach the left toe or the shins or the knees, then you're going to turn and look at the left hand. Keeping the hips straight. And gently come up. Look at the right hand and gently come up. Looking forward. Change sides, look at the left hand and slowly take a nice deep breath in and as you exhale, take it to the right leg. Turn and look at the left hand. Then gently come up. I'm going to come to seated. So, sitting down, we're going into Janu Sisasana. You're going to take the left leg, place the left knee down, put the left foot against the right thigh, place the hands onto the side and push the heel, right leg heel away. Pointing the right toe towards you, kneecaps pulling up, thigh muscles pulling up. We're going to inhale all the way up and exhale, reach down towards your toes or to your shins. If you can't go down, you can hold on to your shins or you can take it further down. And from here, just stay here for a moment, opening up the chest, opening up the heart, pushing your toes forward towards you, pressing your knees towards the mat and then gently see if you can take it further down. With an inhalation, come up. Straighten out the spine and then slowly come out of it. Change sides. Bend your right knee, drop your right knee down, press your right foot against the left thigh. Making sure that the left leg is nice and long, lengthened, pointing the toe towards you. Inhale up and exhale, release. Fold from the hip all the way down. Here as well, you can hold on to the shins or you can take it further. Opening up the chest, moving the shoulders back, keeping the neck nice and long. And then slowly release further down. Inhaling, come up. And come out of it. We're going into Pashimottanasana. So here we're going to take away the flesh, draw up the knee. The, the knee and thigh muscles, push the heel away, spread the ball of your foot, toes pointing towards you, keeping the spine nice and long, inhale, arms up, and exhale, fold, here as well, you can hold onto the shins, open up the chest, or you can take your hands towards your feet or hold onto your big toes, so go with any option that you feel comfortable with moving the shoulders back opening up the heart keeping the neck nice and long and then gently with an exhalation take it further keep using the breath inhale and exhale inhale lengthen the spine exhale forward 
and gently come up looking forward and come out of it we're going to work with a counter posture for this so arms palms onto on to the either side of you toes pointing forward we're going to look at the toes inhale and lift the hip up and as you lift the hip up you can look forward or you can lift your chin up and look back gently dropping the hip bending the knees we're coming up into a back bend so from here knees and hip is into one straight line you can either point your toes back or tuck your toes under so whichever way you feel like place your hands at the back so you can have your fingers pointing up or you can just place your hands wherever it's comfortable drawing your shoulders back elbows back so from here we're going to just gently move the hip forward making sure that it's not going over the knee draw the belly in Move the shoulders back, open up the heart. And if you want, depending on your neck, if you have a sore neck, you rather just look forward. If not, you can just lift the chin up. And if you want to take it further, you can grab hold of the ankles and draw the hip forward. Coming out of it, you can bring the hands back onto the hip and then gently drop your hip down place your hands onto the mat move your knees apart coming into your child posture so draw the sit bone and walk your hands away from you Staying here for a moment, breathing in and out through the nostril. And then we're going to gently come up. We come into Satin Sukhasana to work with Sitali breathing. So Sitali breathing brings, cools the body if you're feeling hot or your, your body is heated, it helps to cool the body. So we're going to start off by, I'll just show you what we're going to do. We're going to curl the tongue. If it's not possible for you to curl the tongue, you can bring the both teeth together and act as if you're smiling. You're going to draw the air through the mouth and out through the nostril. So let's close our eyes. Index finger and thumb touching each other, spine nice and long, make a straw with your tongue, Ex inhaling through the straw, draw your tongue in and exhale through the nostril. We're going to do two more, so inhale, Draw the tongue in and exhale. Last one. And exhale. Just stay here for a moment. With your mouth closed, inhaling and exhaling through the nostril. And slowly open your eyes, bring your palms together, wrap them. Place it over your eyelids. Namaste. Thank you so much, Sylvia G, for that beautiful yoga demonstration. We will now be screening a short video on yoga. 
Sukhasana To perform Sukhasana, the pleasant posture, sit on the ground with both your legs stretched out in front. Bend your left knee and then your right to pull the legs in and sit with your legs crossed at the ankles. Clasp your hands together to form the Yoga Mudra with fingers of your right hand dominant over the left. Sit straight and perform deep and controlled breathing. Sukhasana, the comfortable posture, is an excellent pose for relaxation, concentration and meditation. It can be performed by most people in spite of their stressed out physical condition that prevents them from attaining to more complicated sitting postures. Perform the Sukha Pranayama by breathing in and out for an equal count of six while sitting in this comfortable posture. Paschimottanasana Sit in Uttanasana, breathe in and raise your arms over your head. Clasp the fingers together and turn them up to perform Dandasana. Slowly bend forward with emphasis on your lower back until you can catch your big toes with your index finger and thumb. Stretch up and then bend further forward until your face rests on your knees. Hold the posture for 10 to 30 seconds with gentle breathing. When ready, release the fingers and stretch back up into the Dandasana. Come back to the Uttanasana. Lie down in Shavasana and relax for some time with deep breathing. This posture helps to stretch the entire back and tones up the abdominal organs. Digestion is improved and body metabolism speeded up. Abdominal fat is also burnt away. Patients of hypertension and back troubles should avoid Paschimottanasana. Halasana From Shavasana, lift both legs up towards the sky on the in-breath. Take the legs over the head until the toes touch the ground beyond the head. Do not bend the knees. Stretch the arms out behind the back or hold on the lower back with the elbows on the ground. Breathe in a shallow manner while concentrating on the healthy pressure at the throat region. Those who have neck problems shouldn't do this posture as it may aggravate the neck pain. Release the posture after 10 to 15 seconds and while breathing out, slowly come back to the Shavasana. Roll your head from side to side to ease away any pressure that may have accumulated in the neck. Padahastasana Stand in Samasthityasana and slowly raise your arms up as you breathe in. Maintain the stretch and bend forward, bringing your hands to the ground as you breathe out. Place your palms on either side of your feet. Breathe in and look up stretching your neck. Breathe out and bring your forehead to your knees. This posture gives a good stretch to the entire spine and provides an improved flow of blood to the upper part of the body by virtue of being one of the poses where the head is below the heart. When ready, breathe in and come up to the standing pose by slowly raising your arms and torso in a steady manner. 
Bring your hands back to your sides and relax in the Samasthiti Asana. To perform this asana, sit on the ground with both your legs stretched out in front. Slowly bend both your knees and come into a kneeling posture. Gently sit down on your heels so as to put the weight of your entire body on your heels and ankles. Try to keep the ankles and heels of both feet as close together as possible. Sit straight with your spine erect and both your palms on the respective thighs. Perform a few rounds of deep and controlled breathing while in this posture. Vajrasana, the thunderbolt posture, is an invigorating posture that helps us to generate and conserve the vital pranic energies for health and well-being. This posture may be done after any meal as it helps to improve the digestive process greatly. When ready, slowly come back up onto the knees and then relax by sitting on the ground with your feet stretched out in front. Shake your feet a few times and then thump your thighs to relieve the legs of any accumulated tension. Thank you. We've come to the concluding part of today's program. I present to you Michelle Bonarilal to render this afternoon's vote of thanks. Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center at the Consulate General of India in Durban. I would like to express our deep gratitude to Ms. Sylvia Naika. I would like to say a special thank you to the director, Dr. Chaitanya Prakash Yogi, Mr. Ishwar Ramlachman, for spending time with us today. I would like to say thank you to Ms. Kavita Salanki and Ms. Shisti Hari Narayan. I would like to thank Mr. Piyush Kandewa for all the online support and like to thank you, our online guests, for joining us today. Stay home and stay safe. Thank you.